Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, for this video, you are gonna need a couple of things. You are going to need a new clean piece of paper, okay? You are gonna need a ruler of some sort, preferably one that is a 12 inch. That will definitely help you out, okay? Now, how to create this? I'm gonna quickly kind of go over it and then I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and then you're gonna set this up. So first thing what I did was I took the paper and I folded it in half okay to get the center after that okay this is actually five and a half inches okay you need to divide this in half this is going to give you your four boxes or your four rooms all right after i did that i put crosses in the center in each one of the rooms okay got that so far next how I did the corner. So this is gonna be your back wall. I went in and I went to the center and I went one inch dot, one inch dot. Went around the side, put this in the center. One inch dot, one inch dot. Did that to all of them. How did I do that so fast? Watch, they all had dots and then I just lined them up like this. I went whoop, whoop, I went over here. And I went whoop, whoop, okay. Then I did these, and then I went over here. And I went whoop, and then went that way. And I went whoop, and I did this one. And I connected that one, connected that and that one. That's how I was able to go so fast, all right? Now, last thing, you see the dots in the center. I kind of exaggerated, teeny bit, small bit, little. And then I erased the excess line, okay? Now you will get into the habit of being able to not draw so dark so you won't see that X on the back um, as you kind of go through, okay? So please pause the video right now and set up your four rooms. Okay, here we go. So for here, you're gonna need a ruler and you need a pencil, not a pen, definitely not a pen okay you can have a mechanical pencil you may have a regular pencil anyone is fine but not a pen all right so in our first room i'm going to show you the basics of what's called one point perspective one point perspective came out of the renaissance okay they uh were kind of like sitting around saying hey we want to make things look like they actually go back in space not space in outer space, but on the paper to make it look like it's got 3D, okay? So they came up with this mathematical system that just seems to work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ruler. Now a ruler, you always want to be up and down, perpendicular, okay, to the bottom, all right? Or parallel to the side wall, okay? And our first line we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, straight up. Okay. From here, you are going to be making a door. Okay, so we're gonna connect and this little point is called the vanishing point. The vanishing point is a very important point. VP, it kind of works. It is where all of our points are gonna go back. Okay, so we're gonna take this top line and we're lightly going to draw back to the vanishing point. This is how long it's going to be. Now I'm gonna take my ruler and so these two lines are parallel. Put another line there, all right? Last part, erase. Hence why no pen, people. Okay, this little line, ooh, that's loud. And put a doorknob, what? I know, it's very cool. All right, just by that basic knowledge, you could even go and put a frame around it. Oh, let's go over here. All right, you're like, dude, I just upscaled that door. You did, just like that, okay? Now, what else can I do with this? Well, we can if you wanted to just so you know, you don't have to do this, is you could, if you wanted to, make this look like this door actually went in by just putting a straight line. What? 
so it actually looks like it's going in okay but that's up to you now let's take a basic shape and we're going to use it a couple of ways okay so on your right wall draw a big old line by the way make sure it goes up and down connect the top and the bottom to the vanishing point now by the way if I ever go too fast, you have two choices. You could, one, pause the video, or two, go into the settings on YouTube and turn down the speed. It will go a little slower, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna connect the line in the back. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Let's erase the back line. All right, people. Guess what? Fun things, fun things are about to happen. This can be, ready, a window, a poster, a TV, okay. Um, what else? I guess it could be a rug. You're like, how can it be a rug? Well, let's look. What if we put that shape on the floor, straight line, closest to us, Connect it to the back, same kind of way. Whoop, gotta connect it to the vanishing point. If not, it looks a little wonky. Okay, and put the line before the end of the, the room. Oh yeah, you're right. It kind of does look like a rug, okay? So far, so good, all right? Last thing I wanna show you for this, um, this room, okay? And by the way, if you wanna put another one, you would just put another straight up and down line, connect it to the vanishing point, and made sure that back line stopped before the edge. I do wanna show you how to make wood floor, okay? You might wanna do a rug. Be like, I want a rug, I'm gonna put some fuzz on it, fuzz okay you can have the whole thing carpet but some people really enjoy uh let me line this up wood floors now what you do is i prefer going every centimeter because it kind of gives that illusion of having thin boards and all you do is you take your vanishing point and your point and i tend to actually just connect and draw where I need to draw. Whoop, whoop. And you're gonna notice that it's gonna start to curve. Whoop, totally didn't go all the way. All right. Oh, I have a sad puppy upstairs because he wants to come down and play. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I can hear him, he's sad. He's like, mommy, I'm not happy. I know, buddy, but I gotta draw. Do you see it? Oh, totally forgot one. So you see how it's starting to come out? All right, and don't forget wooden floors, they have like different, you know, slats, all different places. So I'll put one here and then I'll put one, I guess right here, um, right here, whatever. Okay, and you go all the way through. Let me actually just take a moment. I'm just gonna quickly go through. Whoop, whoop. Now, yeah, you're probably saying, all right, she's definitely not going all the way to the vanishing point every single time. You do get into the hang of just drawing the line that you need, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Perfect. So we've got that. Next, let's talk about the back wall, okay? So I'm gonna move this over, Whoop. and let's talk about the back wall. The back wall, by the way, everything you do here is flat. Okay, if you wanna put a poster on here, you draw it flat against the wall. Flat, flat, flat. If you want, you can change the angle of your roof line, okay? So I'm gonna have it like a little bit angled right here. All right, you just take your vanishing point and you go to the top, 
and it goes whoop. Okay. No way. I know, it's so cool. All right, um, if you wanted a curve, you could have it curved. You would just have to maybe make a couple of arches here to make it feel like it's got that curved effect all the way through, okay? Up to you, people. I kind of like the, that line, okay? So we have like an arch. So everything on the back wall, flat. You want a window, by the way, vanishing point. This is where, wow, lots of uh, exciting motorcycles. Okay, this is where the land and the sky meet, always on the vanishing point. So if I had some mountains here and I had like, I don't know, a lake, ooh, lake and put some ducks on it. Can't see the ducks, but it's okay. All right, or if I had a door here, all right, flat, all flat, okay? So that's the back wall. Back wall flat okay all right next one let's talk about building some actual furniture do, 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 right here okay so we're gonna start talking about coming out and then we'll go on the back wall okay so let's draw something when you're looking at your um your space okay you want to kind of see what is broken down so we're gonna make a bed on this side or this side okay it's gonna look like it's flat like a rectangle so I'm gonna draw exactly that a rectangle now I'm gonna erase this little line because honestly I don't sleep on a see-through bed um, and neither do you okay corners 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 that go directly to the vanishing point get connected so let's do this connect connect this one is a skinny connect but it is a connect this one i cannot connect because it goes through the actual bed so that's a no okay but these are yes so let's go back and let's cut this off i want to go here that's as far as I want to go. So then I gotta connect it, match the front to the back. And down. Okay, so we have that. Very nice, very nice. If you wanted to do a bunk bed, you would draw this. You would connect it up. Okay. And you draw the rectangle here. Connect, same. Just a hint depending on where this vanishing point is and where you design all changes where your angles are going to go to okay so don't panic all right so if you're like i can't i don't see anything here it's right there it's right in line all i see is just this angle here don't panic it's just how it is okay um so you have that you could okay be like, I don't want that. I just want a good old king size bed with a headboard. Cool. I would suggest putting a pillow on there, putting some covers, and then, you know, that's about it. Cool. Okay. All right. So let's go on the other side. Let's look at maybe something that is, you know, let's do a dresser. All right. Dresser comes out, rectangle shape. Okay, just like that. Connect the points that go directly to the vanishing point, but don't go through the object. Got it. Now, yes, I am not drawing all the way to the vanishing point because I am making sure that they connect these points. Up and down and over. Erase. And erase, and erase, and erase. Okay, you're like, that don't look like a dresser. Oh, just wait. This is a sidewall. You do the same way as up here. Connect back to the vanishing point. Any sidewalls get connected to the vanishing point. Any flat surfaces, you just draw it flat. 
doorknob, doorknob. Um, so this would be flat. So if you wanted to get really fancy and you're like, oh, mine has like this like inside thing. Cool, that could be inside. It still goes flat, okay? Um, you need a, something on the wall. Like I need a shelf, same deal. Start off with the rectangle, connect to the vanish point. This actually would be, you know, going downwards, okay? Mirrors, oh, I forgot, this could be a mirror. <gasps> Dude, that's awesome. Could go there, posters. You can have, um, uh, by the way, weird wonky kind of things like a trash can. Just draw the trash can, trash can, there we go, okay? Those can actually just get drawn in. You don't have to worry about doing actual um, configuring of that, okay? If you have something in the back wall here, okay? Draw it, so this might be a door. Pretend that you see the line here. Draw it here, go down to the vanishing point. Come here. I'm gonna make this a closet and have two doors. What? Okay, here, if I draw this square, smaller you know what that's called yep you got it a night stand let's draw it make sure it's going to the vanishing point so in my lines i get really good at making sure that they're straight so i don't need to use the ruler all the time okay then i'm gonna put a lamp in there oh happy lamp a little circle on it Put the cord, I don't know, over here, plugged into the wall. There you go. Okay, so far so good? Yes. Last one. What do we do if we want it on the back wall? Great question. Okay, so let's move that over so you guys can see. So let's say we wanna put something in the back wall or in a corner, okay? So back wall, let's say we wanna put the bed. Okay, so we draw. The regular end, well, that's a little wonky. We're gonna connect to the vanishing point. Now this one, I, I kind of do go all the way up because I kind of need to get an idea. Your back, the head, okay, of the, the um, your bed needs to actually go a little bit higher. It's almost like you're kind of guessing how high it would be from there. Okay, let's put a headboard. Let's put a square one. Ooh. Like those little, I don't know. There we are, okay. Put a pillow on. Oh, that's kind of looking kind of, you know, fun. All right, so you can do that, all right? If you want something in the center of the room, I'm not gonna use my ruler. Um, I can put it right in the center. So let's say this is a bench. I don't know why you would have a bench in the middle of your floor, but you might. Okay, I don't know. They always have like those little things in there. Okay, you just place it in the center, okay? All right, so quick review. <sighs> one point perspective is the idea that it all goes back to this one spot, okay? To create simple shapes, you start with this first line and you connect the top and the bottom to the vanishing point, okay? We can make all different things with this simple shape. The back here. Anything on the back wall is flat. If you want to change the, um, the shape of the roof, absolutely fine. Um, another thing, by the way, you can always do is you can always extend the wall out. Take your vanishing point, go through here, go through here, and you're like, dude, this is just too cool. And then you do the same thing, okay? It's just a different shape. Wah! Okay, awesome. Down here, building furniture out. Start with the shape, it goes back to the vanishing point. Start with the shape, goes back to the vanishing point. The only point that doesn't go through is the one that goes through the object, okay? Last one, if you want a design on the back wall, you have to drop a little lower and then draw it a little higher. Now, I am going to connect, all right, um, to a, a workbook that I have 
purchased, okay, that has more step-by-steps for different things. You can check that out as well, okay? Um, I would highly suggest you check it out because there may be things in here that you wanna add. You're like, dude, I'm gonna draw this awesome um, room. I'm gonna have like, you know, a secret door that goes into like this and that. Fine, perfect, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Once you're done, um, if you want to do a few more things in here, absolutely, then upload this, and this is your practice.